a little bit like meditation, right? There are certain things that you need to do for your own health, and there are certain things you need to do for the good of your business, because the two of them are very closely linked, but they are separate. It, it looks something like this. And as a salesperson, you should be looking back at your individual appointments, what went well and what didn't, and what can you adopt to get better. So, the first one if we talk about for your mental health, one of the things that you can do when you reflect back on your week, and you can even do this on a day-by-day -day basis, is every Friday, I will look back at my diary and everything that happened the previous week. Looking at things that I done well. Anything that's worth measuring, we want to measure them. Reflecting back on what didn't quite go to plan. I can't find the result from that. That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit, mate. Now, I never beat myself up about things. But what I will do is I'll look back on what didn't go so well and how I can improve. And even that, I think, for mental health is crucially important. So, look back on the small wins, the things that you can celebrate, and also the things that didn't go so well. Make sure you're aware of them and that you can work out without beating yourself up how you could improve on them. I need makeup. Makeup artist, please. <laughs> Can you count my brown? Is somebody got the wig? <laughs> Stephen's birthday. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do bios. So we're going to go and speak to the guys, make sure we, they understand what they've got to say, so that we can put nice bios on the website so our clients can see who we are. So we're just going to go and do a little bit of preparation so we know what we're going to go and see. Cool. Looking back at all your business meetings, the sales, the presentations, how you performed in any given day, did you stick to your agenda, did you surf the internet far too long? But looking back at everything you've done that week and working out where you could improve how well you performed, how you could change to get more calls done and subsequently do more deals, how you could present better, what didn't quite go right, were you maybe lacking a bit of preparation? So looking back and reflecting on things allows you to Again, view things from a different perspective. And it's almost looking back on them with a different set of eyes this time because you're not in the moment going, oh, that was shit, or that was really good. You've had time to reflect on it. You need to be aware as well is that you can't change what's happened then, but you can learn from it. And that's the key thing, is learning from these things. And then make sure that you can implement some of these things you learn for the future. So that's the important thing for reflection, is looking back 
Till well. I try to be patient, but I'm a patient of a civil doctor that says when you're off or something, take it, so screw it, I'm on my own. I want to tell the world, don't stress it, your life is a blessing. Don't be a slave to the workforce, because time is the essence. And no matter how rich you get, well, here's a lesson. Not a penny that you made is going to go with you to heaven. Sometimes I thank God I even have a gift at all. But what's the gift if I forgive to even give it all? So before I die, just look inside this crystal ball and say I'll be remembered.